said Platypus. it's a platypus. That's fun. Singular. Can we can singular? We, can we talk about how he's playing corn though? Like you think he'd play like Fox or Falco with the name, like lasers. And they're wearing Zelda t-shirts, and only one of them is playing a Zelda t-shirt. One is zoomed in considerably and only showing the Triforce. The other is showing the whole part. Ooh, one, of them, one of them is showing his pride, and the other is like, eh, I'm a Zelda fan, but I don't know if I want you to really know that. Yeah, I'm not. Maybe not. Maybe I just really like triangles. Who knows? You know, that, that is actually the Triforce is also derived in Japanese history of a symbol for peace, I think. There's yes. some, like, religious context that it used to be, and that's, like, where it comes from. There's some, um, there are also some religious meanings for, like, the swastika and stuff. Yeah. But now there's other bad meanings. About yeah, it. now it's bad. But originally it's the not, swastika was a positive symbol. We don't, there was one, uh, there's a Pokemon card that had a swastika on it. Oh, my that God. got banned in the U.S. Oh, jeez. But yeah, there's a lot of actually religious references in Zelda. Like the Seven Sages, I think, are a reference to the Seven Pillars of Islam or something like that. Shout out to Winkipu using the wing tag, like Larry Larry using the fox tag. Um, I, I'm about it. Yeah. Laser, laser's going in right now, though. I don't you I don't know what options Link has in this matchup because Corrin's hitboxes are all so yes. obnoxious. It's very hard. It's one of the few characters that I feel like has a lot of answers to Link zoning and also can outzone him to an extent Yeah. because that fully charged neutral B is so prominent. Yeah, but and I, I think it goes through things. Yeah. Yeah. Although it didn't go through the boomerang. I, plus Link, too, I think if he just stands, you know, idle, his, it'll just hit his shield and he'll block it. Right. The biggest thing that Laser Platypus is going to want to do is to, you know, look for those zoning capabilities and then capitalize on them with juggling. Because yeah. you really don't want to approach Link, because Link can, oh, do a lot of damage up close, just like there we saw with the down air. Uh, Linky Poo is taking this uh, game one. He's kind of finding his comfort zone a little bit. Something yes. I'm noticing from Laser, too, is he's not using that Dragon Lunge either. Exactly. One Ooh, Ooh, that's, yeah, that'll be it. Linky Poo looking more composed. Use the bomb to shield poke through that with the up smash. That was a really good play. Yeah. And I, th I think Laser is going to have to try to get Link off stage a lot more because Link doesn't really have much of an answer to anything. Because his recovery is so bad that if he commits to anything like a, even a neutral air or a back air, it's <laughs> he's in a, he puts himself in a really bad spot. Exactly. And Linky Poo camping out Laser Platypus on these platforms, just baiting her to go up. Uh, he's he's kind of going to have to make something happen by going in a little bit more. That's that's what he's going to have to do against Link anyway, because Link wants he wants that kind of space. Yeah. To throw boomerangs and bombs. And, and we can see that with Linky Poo. Every time he gets an opening, he's running to a platform at the other Ooh. side of the stage. I don't like that punish there. Just to jab three. Yeah. Or what kind of read that was with an up smash? Yeah. Up. Ooh. Downward angle forward smash would have been a really good one. All right. Ooh. That's the second time we've seen that happen. Ooh. Gotta respect the. Oh, that, beautiful counter that was though. A nice counter, yeah. That was really good. Counter is a forward tilt. Understanding that Linky Poo was gonna want to go for the spacing option and capitalize. When it's something that in that situation too, Linky Poo is just kind of he's gonna take that yeah, whenever he can get it. Exactly. And to or be at least fair, so he thinks, you know. Right. And to be fair, Laser, uh, I think only went for one other counter attempt so far. So it's kind of something to say that if you don't overextend that option, it's really easy to condition your opponents to not be worried about it yeah. until it matters. Mm -hmm. I see a lot of good bandanas and corns do that. They really only go for yeah. it when they're very certain of mm -hmm. themselves. Ooh. Oh, the he's got to stop challenging this because yes. I think that sword has at least some bit of transcendence on it. It definitely has a, a good anti-air option to yeah, it. Ooh. Like, I'm a little surprised, honestly. He missed the tech zone. Up there probably would have killed him. See if he gets right. anything off of this. Dash tech, not a bad option. Okay, he's getting some damage. Yeah, laser's stuff. going for a lot of simple punishes, yes. and I I think that's going to do him in a little bit here. Yes. Because nothing there. The problem with playing too simply is that as soon as your opponent adapts to it, it's going to be he's really hard to keep doing Yes. And you have to respect the jumping. You can't really jump on top of Link. Yeah. Well, then, when he's just sitting in shield like that, and Corrin just, you know, throws out one of her hitboxes yes. really close, and it's not, like, it's not spaced very well, so you're going to eat something for it. And Linky Poo picked the right option there. Of course. So something I'd like to see Laser do to adapt game two 
is to utilize Korn's really good spacing options to forward smash, angle it a Neut little bit. Neutral to air. use neutral, neutral air. air. Neutral neutral air is phenomenal when approaching from the air. Uh, neutral B, really. Just dragon, in general, like and side drag, B. Dragon Lunge is, yeah. is such another good option, too, because he can use it as kind of a get out of jail free card because Link's movement yeah. isn't going to allow him to really be yeah. punished for it unless he's already actively yeah. trying to punish it. You want to use your character's movement to kind of break Link's fortress. Yeah. And as soon as you get underneath him, he has a really hard time dealing with it. Yeah, I, I kind of, I can see this stage there we go. being helpful because Tilts anything, are a good option. Yeah, anything flatter for Link to is just going to give him a lot more room to just, or it's going to make it harder for Laser to get in. Right. This nice downer. Yeah, no, definitely Laser's um, adapting, and I like the range there. He did get grabbed for it, but again, Laser's yeah. only sitting at 25% right now. Now, this is the moment you kind of want to retreat and look for a new way to approach yeah. because Link has the stage control. So a lot of times, um, I think people, like newer people, um, the, one of the hardest things to learn is understanding when it is best to be aggressive, when it is best to try to assume stage control. What does it mean when someone has stage yeah. control? What advantages do they get? Yeah. It's a, it's very complex in that way. Yeah, and I think I think Linky Poo has kind of taken a step back a little bit, and he's yeah. kind of found himself at center stage where he wants to yep. be more often, and Laser's trying to have to get through, even exactly. though he's not using a ton of projectiles, he's just kind of have to find... He's needing to find his way through. Exactly. Ooh. He was getting comboed, and then he adapted by retreating more, understanding yeah. he couldn't really challenge Laser. So now he's managed to basically tie this game up. Yeah. You can Both see any pursuit off stage. He's he's going for that dragon bite as his off stage option. So he's kind of letting Linky Poo get back for free. Right. Ooh. Ooh. That. That's not gonna kill. Not on battlefield, no. no. And even then, I've seen a lot of corns. They use, you know, if you watch Low Tier City this last weekend, Cosmos was using yes. down throw for his every throw and then yep. using up throws as well. That was right. nice. Right, because up throws harder to DI. Yes. Uh, that was a beautiful up smash throw by Laser. Not an option you see corns no. getting off a lot. But it, it does catch you off guard. If you're coming in right from above her, it's great yeah. anti air. Okay, nice up tilt Spa using the back hit. He's just kind of finding his like way to. Yes. I, Ooh. I just, I feel like Laser just putting himself at a bad spot yes. where he's placing aerials that aren't safe on shield. He's and also a little slow on the punishes. Yes. I think he needs to be a bit more aware of those windows. When Link with the grab, you have a lot of time to get in there. Or like what Corrin's best options are as a punish. Exactly. If she has any combos, or if there's <laughs> any sort of mix-ups that she can put in that. Right. Like give you the best chance to do a lot of damage. And Linky Poo is really bringing this, bringing this his way. Yeah, he's landed a lot of really good turnaround forward smashes. He's yeah. mixing up laser really well. And he's using a lot more projectiles out of Link's kit than we saw in the first game, too. Right. Even using arrows, using bombs more. Yeah. I, think, I think when you get Link stuck on these platforms is where laser has to do a lot of his damage. Ooh. Ooh, that was a little slow reaction. I like the idea, though. That's something I would like to see Laser do more in his side B. There's yeah. a lot of ways you can cross Link up and get into his space using side B, because it's a very hard move to challenge if you don't know what you're doing. And I think Horn's really one of the best characters in this game at just crossing you up yes. on your shield. I would agree. Both uh, dash attack, side B, that won't be it, but Not great quite. damage. He goes for it again. He probably can't take another one, though, and yeah. especially if he takes more da damage and gets more rage, it's going to be... Right. Okay, good down air. I mean, it was risky, but it paid yeah. off because it was a mix-up. So that that's... Sometimes you Ooh, see... Ooh, that that's... Almost it. Vortilt tilt very strong. <gasps> Draconic Ascent almost oh, takes no. out the stock. That up... Oh, we got... That's oh, that's, oh, he needed oh, to angle that downward. If he did, that would have been it because Link was just sitting there. He's just charging a lot of smash attacks. Maybe he doesn't know... Oh, no. Down up throw? throw? Oh, okay. I like the... Maybe think, up throw wouldn't have killed yet. That's... It. Oh, no. Oh, even Again, just back here through the platform. Wow. Something. Wow. Oh, okay. Gosh. That's something uh. where... 
just a grab, something. That was really scary. I would have liked to see a side I, I got, or yeah. something. I got the feeling that both players were just kind of freaking out. There. They were. Like, there was a lot of panic. The happening. game. The game was just in either of them. It was in either of their hands. Yeah. Really. That was a really fun close game too. Yeah. Uh, I think they know they're done, right? I hope so. It'd be kind of sad. Yeah, done. done. Right. Yeah, <laughs> good yeah, good stuff by Lengi Poon, Laser Platypus. Yeah, yeah something uh, just like at the end there, I would have liked to see Corin do differently is side B because then she could have held her ground and had a lot of options to catch Link who is panic rolling. Yeah. And there's a lot of different ways he could have yeah. killed it instead of going for the forward smash, forward smash, which was only going in one direction. I think there's a. Uh All right. Okay, they're trying, to, they, are they trying to hide the stream time. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. Good stuff. Cool so, shout out to cool these two for coming out. It's always great to have new players, and we hope to see you more. Uh, tournaments, as I always say, are a great way to get better. Yeah. One like, offline tournament is probably the best practice. When it's get. like, you know, offline tournaments are so good for just the amount of improvement that you'll probably see in yep. your Smash game, but you just get to meet so many new yeah. people. There's a lot of advantages, and it's really, it's totally intimidating. I get that. I was super intimidated my first tournament, but I met a lot of cool people. Yeah. Like, people are generally really nice. Mm -hmm. And Like, 99% of people like, are really nice. You meet all these people that you would have, you probably would have never met otherwise, which exactly. I think is super cool. Like, all exactly. these people I've met in the last year or so, it's just, I love them all yeah. to death, and it's like... Oh. oh, some like of people, people yeah. like you, you know. Exactly. Well, I've only been in, involved in this for like a year and a half, and some of my best friends are from the gaming community. So, like, if that says anything, definitely come out. All right, we got Teddy, Teddy and, and Trippy, Trippy Butter. Butter. Or hold the phone. Hold the phone. I don't Is know. That, that's not this. Oh. We got we got Cannon and. Some guy that I don't know who he is, but I'm sure he's a nice he's a nice person. I'm sure he's a nice gentleman. Hey Sam. Thirsty Kirsty approves. Alright, what's up? While we're waiting, yeah. I'm gonna say what's okay. up to the chat. Hey Randall, where are you at though? And <laughs> you know, we got uh All the rest of you. I'm a little I'm a little mad Randall's not here because he's my best friend and we grew up together. Um but oh, no. what's up, 3DS Warrior? Good to have you. All right. In the middle of nowhere, Wisconsin, but it's okay. You know, it's fine. Oh, yeah, Randall's, Randall's at home. Is he? I don't I have know. no idea. No, he's probably not. I like to think right. that in his free time, he goes and lies in fields with cows. <laughs> it's his happy place. Oh, my God. What? I mean, I grew up on a farm, too. My happy place is cornfields. I grew up next to a farm. Next to a farm. Ooh. So you kind of get it. Far, it, we got know. Scruffy. Scruffy. scruffy.